they think about him, but he's a man amongst boys. There's no excuses anymore. Can he throw the ball downfield? Yes, he can. Can he throw the in, in, intermediate route? Yes, he can. Can he throw outside the numbers? Yes, he can. Can he run the football? Yes, he can. Can he elude the tacklers in the pocket? Yes, he can. So what else is there to talk about other than him becoming the Super Bowl MVP and possibly the regular season MVP and giving him north of $300 million when his contract is up? Yeah, guys, it's an easy answer for me. It's Jalen Hurts. And here are a couple of things you need to know about Jalen Hurts. He had 35 touchdowns to eight, eight total turnovers during the regular season. In the last five years, there have only been three quarterbacks to have more total touchdowns and eight turnovers or fewer on the season. Those three quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, and Pat Mahomes. And correct me if I'm wrong, guys, all of those players have won MVPs during that span. So that just goes to show you the level that Jalen Hurts played at this season and he only continued that in the playoffs in the divisional round against the New York Giants. The other thing you need to know in terms of his greatness, just go back and take a look at what happened with the Philadelphia Eagles when they lost to the New Orleans Saints in December. They lost Ooh. to a seven-win Saints team by double digits with Gardner Minshew as the starting quarterback and Jalen Hurts out of the lineup. Think about that. The same team, same supporting cast, just changed the quarterback. Guys, we've seen the control and we've seen the experiments. Jalen Hurts makes this entire thing go. Not just the offense go, but the entire team go. Not the other way around. I take Jalen Hurts in this matchup. I'm going to take Jalen Hurts and Canty. That's the first thing I'm going to bring up. We've seen the Philadelphia Eagles without Jalen Hurts this season. They went 0-2. We've seen them with Jalen Hurts. They only lost one game or won all the rest of them. So I'm taking my chances with Jalen Hurts because he's that guy that's cool, calm, and collected. It doesn't matter what's going on on that football field. If they're first and 10, second and 20, third and 15, they believe that Jalen Hurts is going to prevail and put them over the edge to pick up a first down, but not only pick up a first down, ladies and gentlemen, but to score in the red zone. That's why the Philadelphia Eagles are one of the best teams in the red zone in scoring touchdowns because you have that dynamic playmaker at the quarterback position. Chris, you mentioned that he accounted for 35 touchdowns. Something to be said for that now. That's that's Anybody just can't account for 35 touchdowns. He's a pass threat. He's a run threat. And he is a guy that was up for MVP this year. And had he not got hurt, who knows? He probably would have won it. It's a playoff preview with the pros presented by Progressive Insurance. Chris Kenny, Keyshawn Johnson, Harry Douglas. I'm Jason Fitz. Let's do another one here. Take your pick. The more I work with former athletes, the more you guys tell me that I need to know coaching matters. So let's look at the coaches. Sirianni, Shanahan, Key, who you got? Who's your pick? I'm going to take Kyle Shanahan in terms of coaching. Nick Sirianni has probably better players from front to back on his roster, but coaching scheme-wise, I mean, schematic-wise, um, decision-making, in-game decision, Better players from front to back on his roster, but coaching scheme wise, I mean, schematic wise, um, decision making, in game decision. to play in Super Bowl 57. Now, in those in that clip of Take Your Pick, we heard about D'Amico Ryans, perhaps the best defensive coordinator in football there. Well, some coaching news. Niners defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans, who has spoken with the Broncos and Texans about their head coaching vacancies, seems to be inching closer to returning to the team where he started his NFL career, and that is in Houston. NFL media reporting that there is mutual interest between Ryans and the Texans, and the two sides are scheduled to meet next week because Ryan's a bit busy preparing for the Eagles and is leading the Niners defense into Philly for the NFC championship game. Meanwhile, in Dallas, Mike McCarthy seems to be safe as he had his end of the season presser earlier in the week, and he will have his defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn back as he pulled his name out of consideration for some NFL coaching searches. Harry Douglas on Fitz and Harry, 
thinks Quinn might be strategic about what job he may want next. Is this day and Quinn also though? Hand. I looked at the game last week against the Dallas Cowboys and watching Kyle continue to play around with the run game until he to become the head coach as well. So while McCarthy is safe for now, the fact that he had to jettison so many longtime staffers is something to keep an eye on. Diana Rossini, ESPN NFL reporter on Get Up, explains. His job is safe, but McCarthy. It, McCarthy's job is safe, but it came with having to fire a lot of guys on his staff that he has been with for a long time. Right. This isn't, these aren't assistants that he just hired over the last three years. These guys go back all the way to his days in Green Bay. So uh, there was obvious conversations that were had between Jerry Jones and Mike McCarthy of, you're staying, but changes are going to be made here. Still several openings remaining in the NFL. Coming up here on Sports Center all night, Novak Djokovic is headed to the Australian Open final. We will hear from Matt Walsh with an update from Down Under, plus Friday's top sound from around the sports world. That's next. I'm Alex Sobario on Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Coming up Monday, we'll recap everything from Championship Sunday. Plus, it's never too early to tell you who will win the Super Bowl. Keyshawn, J. Will, and of course, Max. 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, ESPNU. More Sports Center all night. Next. Feel the energy of Lakers basketball this season. Much more against Bates Diop. Turns, spins, 10 footer. Good. Made that look easy. The Lakers East Coast Swing begins tomorrow against the Hated Ones. Coverage begins at 4 p.m. with the Toyota Lakers countdown to tip off. Tip off from Boston at 5.30 p.m. Lakers Celtics tomorrow. This is head coach Darvin Ham of your Los Angeles Lakers. This is the home of Lakers basketball. 710 ESPN. When pain keeps you from doing what you love, Hogue Orthopedic Institute gets you back to you. We are ranked top 1% in the nation and number one in Orange County for orthopedic and spine care by U.S. News & World Report. From the surf to the green, our world-class doctors are there, which is why more Californians choose Hogue Orthopedic Institute for orthopedic and spine care than any other hospital. At Hogue Orthopedic Institute, there is no one better at getting you back to you. Orthopedics and spine, it's all we do. Learn more at HogueOrthopedicInstitute.com. The future depends on teachers. Every day, teachers are shaping our tomorrows, starting their students on journeys that will change the course of history. Right now, in a classroom somewhere in the United States, there's a teacher inspiring a future scientist who will make preventing pandemics their life's work, sharpening the mind of an aspiring environmentalist who will help combat climate change and generating possibilities for a student who will be the first in their family to graduate college. It all starts with teachers who meet challenges with creativity, who reinvent education for the future, who work towards a school system that lifts up every child, regardless of race, income, or zip code, and to enable the full potential of our students, our communities, and our country. Explore a career that leaves a legacy you can be proud of. Shape the future. Teach. Learn more and receive free support at teach.org. Travis and Sliwa on 710. Hang with Travis Slee every weekday morning at 10 a.m. Michael, can yeah. you explain to us what happens at the dinner table when the roll of bread comes? Because we've got everybody else's version. How do you cut off a piece without touching it? You said that, if I'm right on this, if somebody touches the bread, you're out. Yeah, I'm out. The Billy Mac, the Billy Mac again, he did it again. And what he does, when the bread comes to the table, guys, Emily, listen to this. Now, is this, is this uncouth or ill-mannered or what? The bread comes to the table. Billy Mac picks the bread up with his hand, pulls the piece off, and then puts the bread back. You can't do that. What you do is you get you hold a piece of bread that you want, use a knife to cut that off, and don't touch other parts of the bread. You Am I right your or hand in his suit. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? But if, yeah, but if nobody sees you do it, because it's really bad. Don't miss Trav and Slee, Monday morning at 10 a.m. After Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. On 710 ESPN. LA's Mega Sports Station. 710 ESPN. This is 
Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. I'm Alex Silvario. Tune in to college basketball action today as Oklahoma hosts Alabama. Coverage begins at 1.30 Eastern on select ESPN radio stations. A lot of great action going on around sports. We compiled it all here at the Mothership in Bristol. And Kevin Winter is going to take us through Friday night's Top Sound. Number five. Alex, we started the hardwood where Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat were playing host to the Orlando Magic. They were down early, but Jimmy Buckets got Jimmy Buckets going. Jason Jackson with a call in 560 WQAM in Miami. Butler walking toward the logo with a right hand dribble. Uses a right screen from Brown. Puts it up and in as he bounced off the right side of the paint for the bucket. Timeout Orlando. Number four. Alex, in Minnesota, the Timberwolves played host to the Memphis Grizzlies, who have a lot of other things on their minds these days. The T-Wolves would send the Grizzlies to their fifth consecutive loss, and Anthony Edwards was a big reason why. Alan Horton with the call on 830 WCCO. Russell left ankle to the right side, and Ant on the glass. The C rises and hammers it through. Jared Jackson Jr. wanted nothing to do with that. The rise and hammer from Anthony Edwards. That was emphatic. Number three. Alex, let's go to the ice very quickly because the San Jose Sharks were taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. San Jose potted an empty net goal. For those new to hockey, that means you're usually going to win, right? You, 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 the other teams pulled their goalie. You put an empty net goal in. <laughs> Here comes Carolina on 99.9 The Fan. Back to Burns. He hammers it deflected off the end board. Especially top with it. 13 seconds left. Number two. Alex, back to that game in a moment. Back to the hardwood. Giannis and company. Choo choo. Look out. Dave Cohen, WTMJ. Giannis drops 41 in the box. Roll to the third straight win. Here comes Indiana the other direction with it. Feet inside. It was off the fingertips of Turner and taken by Grayson Allen. Allen's running the other direction. Beats the trailing. Giannis who flushes it through with a ferocious one hand jam and a foul. Good grief. It's getting freaky tonight. Giannis taking flights and taking no prisoners. Number one. Hey, remember what happened in Carolina and San Jose where the Hurricanes scored two to tie it and send it to overtime? Here's OT on 99 The Fan. On to the ice. Marty Natchez. Five overtime winning goals in his career. A right, long shot there by Couture, handled by Ronta, and the Canes will come up with a puck. Sveshnikov, he's got a step, he's got Nietzsche's with him. Sveshnikov, Nietzsche, he does it again! Marty Nietzsche, two games in a row! Carolina wins it, 5-4! Thanks a lot, Kevin. Now we'll send it to Matt Walsh. He's in Australia for us with an update on the Australian Open. Thanks, Alex. We're in the middle of women's final night here at Melbourne Park, and currently it's the reigning Wimbledon champion, Elena Rybakina, with a one-set advantage over the fifth seed, Arena Sabalenka, having just taken out the first set, 6-4. Rybakina has been the cleaner of the two players, serving seven aces and zero double faults through the first set and a half, and only registering nine unforced errors through 16 games of tennis. Sabalenka, on the other hand, has hit some impressive winners but has made her fair share of mistakes she's hit six double faults and 18 unforced errors in the same time frame if Rabakina wins it'll be her second grand slam title in under a year while if the belarusian sabalenka can pull off the come from behind victory it'll be a maiden slam title matt walsh at the australian open for espn All right, thanks a lot, Matt. We'll get you to the NFL Championship Weekend as we check in with Anita Marks on the ESPN's The Daily Wager. The Eagles' two-and-a-half-point favorites going into Sunday against the Niners. Here's Anita on what number she's a fan of in the NFC title game. I think it's the under for all that, you know, I just we just talked about with, with Purdy, right? Like, I, I think he's going to have a, a really difficult time 
uh, moving the chains and, and putting up some points. Also, I know Christian McCaffrey practiced today, but he is dealing with a calf. Uh, Elijah Mitchell is dealing with a groin. Even though, I, listen, I do expect all these, you know, all these guys to play. Mm-hmm. Debo Samuel is dealing with some ailment. And as we know, the 49ers defense, um, they're the best in the league. So, you know, I don't, I don't think, I, I think the Eagles are going to have some issues there. Uh, but I just, I, I say the Eagles are going to win. I'm willing to lay the two and a half. I like them in the first half minus one and a half because they're the best first half team in the NFL. They've got a plus 149 point differential against their opponents this season in the first half. Um, but the, the matchups are really interesting in this, in this game, right? Because the 49ers best rushing defense. So I'm fading Miles Sanders. They're really good against opposing tight ends. So I'm fading Dallas Goddard. Right. I think this game is going to come down to Jalen Hurts. So I love over 32 and a half passing attempts and him getting the ball to A.J. Brown as well as Devontae Smith. And I've got over in receptions, over receiving yards, and, and both those cats scoring a touchdown. Because the way that you beat the 49ers is through the passing game, specifically with your wide receivers. By the way, that over-under for the game set at 46. Meanwhile, let's go to the AFC title game. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes a little banged up going into the AFC title game, injured his ankle against the Jaguars. Now he faces the Bengals. Chiefs one-and-a-half-point favorites at home. And Anita says even if Patrick Mahomes was healthy, she still likes the Bengals in the AFC title game. Even if Patrick Mahomes was 100%, I still love the Bengals team. They're coming in. I feel like they're one of the hottest besides the 49ers. One of the hottest teams, they've won 11 straight, 13-5 against the spread, 8-2 and two against the spread away. They've, they, they have beaten the Kansas City Chiefs three times in the last 13 months. Mm-hmm. So I just, I, I love, I love these big cats. I'm all over the big cats. Meanwhile, how about some analysis from Mina Kimes and what she thinks on uh, how Pat Mahomes will do against that Bengals D? This is, of course, being positioned as Mahomes versus Burrow. But for me, it's really Mahomes versus Lou Anarumo because this Bengals defensive coordinator has given him fits, not just Mahomes. Lou Anarumo has done a terrific job crafting game plans against the best quarterbacks in the NFL. You saw that last week against the Bills, Josh Allen, some of his creative blitzes. And we all remember last year in the AFC Championship how he foiled Patrick Mahomes with the simple act of dropping eight players into coverage. Once again, Chiefs and Bengals kick off the AFC title game at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday from Arrowhead. Big thanks to our entire ESPN radio crew here in Bristol. Coming up on the other side, Marty and McGee get your Saturday sports day started. More analysis and insight on Championship Eve. Once again, I'm Alex Sobario, and this has been Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. <laughs> Coming up Monday, we will recap the championship games and get you ready for the Super Bowl. Keyshawn J. Willemax, Monday morning, 6 Eastern, ESPN Radio, ESPN2, ESPNU. Tracking LeBron's road to history. To history. And now LeBron steals it. Here's LeBron in a breakaway. Slam! After putting up 46 against the Clippers and 20 against the Spurs, LeBron now sits at 158 points away from passing Kareem for the most of all time and being on top of the throne. This is where LeBron makes history. The flagship radio station of LeBron and the Lakers. 710 ESPN. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager learning the lingo. Today, I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um, rad just the same. To learn more, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, AdoptUSKids, and the Ad Council.
The football playoffs are here, and nothing beats seeing your favorite team live. Not only does Vivid Seats have great NFL ticket prices, they're also the official ticketing partner of ESPN. And with Vivid Seats Rewards, when you buy 10 tickets, you get the 11th free. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Life happens live. Receiver award credit equal to the average price of the 10 tickets purchased, excluding taxes, fees, and processing costs. See vividseats.com slash rewards for terms and conditions. I'm here at the Big Game headquarters. Total Wine and More scoring huge savings on the perfect bourbon. Local craft beer. Forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Cabernet, seltzers, and so many low prices. Mm, Valentine's Day is right after. Oh, new game plan. You got this. Total Wine can help you score the perfect bubbly, too. <sighs> Thank you. I would have been so... You sure would have. Your Big Game headquarters. Love what you find always at the lowest price. Only at Total Wine and More. Drink responsibly. B21 transitioning out of the military it's difficult just about everything around you changes i would get phone calls that brothers were dying and some of them to suicide and i found myself in another cold cemetery and i started to wonder if i was next it's a struggle to know that you're facing challenges but not be ready to face them sleep doesn't come easy and when it comes it doesn't last long you're tired all oh the time i didn't reach out for that help but thank god my wife did she got me registered for wounded warrior project talking to somebody that would listen to me and understood my story helped me realize that it was time to change there's a new fight there's a new mission and that's something i am eternally grateful for see how we help warriors combat stigma at woundedwarriorproject.org slash combat stigma Hey, son, how are you feeling? Um, uh, I'm fine, Pops. What's on your mind? I just, I can't explain it. When your kid can't find the language, find the lyrics. Start a conversation at sounditoutogether.org. Brought to you by Ed Council and Pivotal Ventures. Every year across America, a staggering 4.2 million youth are homeless or trafficked. Covenant House is the national leader providing safe housing for youth 50 years strong. Help us fight youth homelessness. Go to covenanthouse.org. KSPN AM 710 Los Angeles. KRDC AM 1110 Pasadena, Los Angeles. 710 ESPN. This is Sports Center. Hello there. I'm Mark Robbins with some breaking news in the ESPN Radio Sports Center, or you can call it a developing story because it is the women's final at the Australian Open. And the fifth seed, Arena Sabalenka, one game away from winning her first major title, taking on the 22nd seed, Elena Rubakina. They are tied at a set apiece, but Sabalenka up 5-3 as they are in the break in the third set. And it's on ESPN and, of course, on the ESPN app. Now, in the NBA Friday, the Bucks were getting their freak on against Indiana. Their freak freak, that is. Here comes Indiana the other direction with it. Feet inside. It was off the fingertips of Turner and taken by Grayson Allen. Allen's running the other direction. Beats the trailing. Giannis who flushes it through with a ferocious one-hand jam and a foul. Good grief. It's getting freaky tonight. Giannis taking flights and taking no prisoners. All the fun on WTMJ in Milwaukee. 141-131 for the Bucks over the Pacers. In other games, T-Wolves beat Memphis by 11. Memphis, they've been distracted a bit. The Grizzlies and the NBA issuing a statement supporting the family of Tyree Nichols, the 29-year-old from Memphis, as video surfaced allegedly showing the 29-year-old killed by five Memphis police officers. The five officers are all facing second-degree murder charges as well as aggravated assault and kidnapping charges. Coming up next, you're on ESPN Radio. It's Marty and McGee.
is the goods. I will. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max in the morning on LA's Mega Sports Station. LA Sports Talk all day long. 710 ESPN. He can't make any errors. Well, the same thing could happen to him that happened to Dallas. The Niners defense has struggled a little bit with mobile quarterbacks. You can't count Brock out. He's starting off 7 0. He's been having the offense recover. He's just not afraid of the moment. Like, the moment is never too big for him. Now it's time for the playoff preview with the pros. Alongside Chris Canty, Keyshawn Johnson, and Harry Douglas, here's Jason Fitz. We waited all year to get to this point. The marathon has brought us to championship weekend, the AFC, the NFC championship games Sunday. And we're going to break it all down for you. The playoff preview with the pros on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, Sirius XM, Channel 80. You just heard it. The great, the incomparable, the amazing, and the particularly fast. Keyshawn Johnson hanging out with Chris Canty, hanging out with Harry Douglas. I'm Jason Fitz, and we got a lot of games to break down. I'm just uh, – <laughs> we're, starting, we're starting off the rails. We're starting off the rails. Uh, I'm excited because it's time to get straight into it with the slate of chaos. This is what something we do on Fitz and Harry a bunch. That music can mean only one thing. Now it's time to dance the electric side. What? The slate of chaos is here. All right, Keyshawn, the first game, 3 p.m., 49ers at Eagles. Slate of chaos action. Give me something you're looking for in this one. Well, I'm looking to see exactly what the Eagles are going to do with A.J. Brown. Are they going to... 